Hey everyone, welcome to the coding simplified and uh, we'll see a new video on array. So basically our question is that we are given an array which is of values of 0 and 1, right? Now we need to segregate the 0 and 1s in the given array. So if you see here is we have the array and the, all the values are consisting of 0 and 1. Now you need to segregate the 0 and 1s in this given array, right? So now what will be the what will the format so either we can have that all the all the zeros we should have first and then after all the ones so if you see here what we can have that how many zeros we have one two three four five so it means we have one two three four five now how many ones are there one two three four five again we have five ones so it means five ones then we can have right so it means if you see overall we have segregated we need to segregate in this way and this is our problem statement right so this question is also similar to like segregating the odd and even in the given array so rather than odd and even we have here zero and ones so it means like in our last question that we solved that segregating the odd and even so we need to change little bit in the conditions and that will solve our question right so what we'll do uh, that here we have our so let me write here our values this is 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 so we'll basically take two variable one is left and one is right now I know that in the left side all the values should be 0 and the right side all the values should be left because I'm starting right here from the last index and left is basically starting index so I'll start from here and I will check that if this value is 0 then that is fine I won't do anything I will move my left to next index so these are my indexes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right these all are my indexes so at the starting my index is 0 and here my index is 9 now what I will do so uh, because this is 0 it means we are fine because I know this is at correct position so I'll increase the left index so my left will be at 1 my my left will be here now this is 1 so it means I know that this is odd so it means I will stop here so this is basically will happen in while loop so I will show you code uh, don't worry about that one but just to write here so basically we are operating this condition this is very important condition that left should be less than right because once left is equals to greater than right it means we are done with our segregating right so here we have achieved one it means we'll stop here now we'll start from the back side and from the back side i know that i need the one it means as soon as i'm getting one i will keep on moving to a previous value so here like this is a nice so this is one it means it is fine so i'll move to eight so my right will move to eight index this one right so it means uh, till here so till here means here this is one and this is zero it means I can replace these values so here it would replace this one will come here and zero will come here so basically I can say the zero will come here and one this zero will replace with one and now I will increase the left and I will decrease the right so I will increase the left and I will decrease the right so right will to seven it means my left is be here and my right is here right now again I will check uh, that whether the left so left is again one it means again uh, this is not a valid position so again I will stop here then I will move to right side in right this is one so one is okay because anyhow at this position I want one so I will go to previous again so my right will be six here again this is one so again we are fine so again it will decrease by one position five and then again it will move to zero right now if you see that here this is 0 and here we have 1 so it means I can replace the value so again it will do the same thing that it will replace by 0 and here it will replace by 1 so we are good so we'll increase the left so left will be increased to 3 and I will decrease the right so now right will be 4 here now here left so left is uh, uh, left is basically 0 it means again this is valid position so I'll increase the left so left will move to 4 now if you see that right is also 4 and left is also 4 it means now left is equals to right so it means we are done with all the 
we are all done with the, all this aggregation so if you see here this is correct so here we have 0 then 0 0 0 then 0 and then 1 1 1 1 1 so it means this is aggregation of our existing array right so this is what uh, this is how we have done the segregation now let me show the code as well so that uh, you know that how we are doing so uh, this is my given array and here I am calling the function separate so basically uh, let me change the value change the name of this function so name of function is segregating uh, zero zeros and ones numbers right so I'll pass the array here I will check that if array length is less than equals to one let's because if let's say for array length is one it means there is nothing to segregate or let's say if array length is zero it means there is blank array even in this case there is nothing to segregate so I will return just that's it otherwise we'll take two variables left and right left will start from zero and right will be the last index now I will take a while loop and this will operate until left is less than right now as we discuss that as soon as the value is zero it means we are good so as soon as the value is zero because we want to put it starting so we'll check this condition matches and left is less than right in this case the left will uh, will increase left plus plus right so this is how we'll do and then uh, we'll do for, from the from the last index so now we'll check that if this value is 1 it means we are good so we'll decrease the right and then similarly we'll also check this condition that left should be less than right now once we have done both the while it means now we can swap the value so again we'll check that if left is less than right it in, in this case we'll swap the value present at the index of left and right and then i will increase the left and decrease the right right so this is how it will keep on operating and after that uh, our array will be sorted our array will be segregated in zero and one now what will be the time complexity and space complexity so if you see that we started from here and then we move to here and similarly we started from here and move to here right it means if there are n elements so i am traversing n element right because anyhow if you see i need to traverse all the elements to segregate the values so my time complexity will be big of n and if you talk about the space complexity so if you see as such i'm not using any extra space these are just constant variable left and right so my space complexity will be big of one right so this will be my time complexity and space complexity to segregate the zero and ones in the given array right so yeah that's how we are solving this question and if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section i will try to explain that and i will also put the source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so yeah that's it and guys if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos Thank you.